Wake up, hit snooze, stare at your phone, drink coffee, feel tired, sit in traffic, sit at work, eat fast food, sit in traffic again, feel tired again, see your family for a few minutes, Netflix, eat dinner until you're stuffed, and then lay in bed, tired and wired, and repeat again tomorrow. This should scare you. For the first two decades of my life, I was frustrated with the extra belly fat I carried around. I even remember going on a date with this girl that I liked, and I was embarrassed to take my shirt off when we went to go for a swim. But I learned that everyone who is successful at losing their belly fat and making a transformation like I have over the past few years focuses on one key thing that most people don't really think about. That's why you don't see transformations like this every day. You don't need one in a million genetics to make this happen, but you need to be willing to do things differently. And if you've never met before, I'm Mateo. I just woke up from 10,000 years of cryo sleep. I lost 50 pounds and now I help guys lose fat and build muscle using a simplified approach to their nutrition and training. And if you've seen my videos before, welcome back. I've been a beginner, a coach, an athlete. I've been fat, I've been skinny, I've been skinny fat and everything in between. And it wasn't until I embraced the concept I'm about to share with you that I realized that there's more to getting in shape than just eat less, move more. Let's be honest, do you really need another detailed video about calorie deficits and protein intake like the one I released last week? Losing body fat is difficult because it's normally one of the last places that fat leaves your body. And if you don't have a system that pushes you in the right direction week after week, you're gonna end up feeling lost or demotivated and giving up before you get the visible abs or the flat stomach that you want. But most guys never get anywhere close to being successful because they can't overcome their initial difficulties. The scale stops moving and you give up. Life gets busy and you give up. You give up and you don't start again. And if that sounds familiar, you need to zoom out. Try embracing all these difficulties as tactical failures. Getting in shape is just a set of skills that you can learn. It's a set of problems that can be solved. Preparing food, managing your recovery like sleep and stress, working out in the gym and staying active each day. Obviously, you can learn a lot of these skills by watching YouTube videos and reading blogs, but you never truly find out which ones work best for you if you're not willing to try them out. If you're willing to try out a diet for 30 days, you are either going to fail completely or have some small degree of success with it. And then after the month's over, you can ditch the parts that you didn't like and you can keep the parts that you enjoyed. So if you find that skipping breakfast is great for your energy and your mental health, and it just feels awesome, sweet. Maybe you find that keto gives you brain fog and constipation. If you find that eating more carbs around your workout period allows you to train harder and recover faster, awesome. And over time, all these little mini experiments and tactical failures allow you to slot in individual mechanisms to all the little unique skills and problems that you need to solve. You do the same thing for your workouts. You do the same thing for your nutrition and sleep and stress management. So should you try hypertrophy training or should you do calisthenics? Should you do a keto diet or should you do a more flexible dieting approach? I don't know. You have to try it for yourself. Start with something that interests you and something that you enjoy. And eventually you'll have a unique blend of methods that suits you personally. But until you're willing to try something in the first place, you're just gonna stay stuck. And that's gonna sound like a little bit of a LinkedIn post bullshit, but you need to adopt a growth mindset here. And that means you're gonna experience some short-term discomfort as you try new things, but long-term, you'll eventually be successful. Here's what I mean. Your ability to get yourself in shape is not fixed or predetermined. All your roadblocks, failures, and difficulties are giving you clues to the things you've been missing all along. Not losing weight this week? Learning opportunity. Not getting any stronger in the gym? Learning opportunity. No energy in the afternoons? That's a learning opportunity. When your back hurts when you're squatting, that is a learning opportunity for you. You have to encounter these problems in the first place in order to actually learn the lessons from them. Don't allow yourself to get frustrated and overwhelmed by all this. You need to get curious about why it's not working instead. It's nothing personal. You're just not that great at this yet. You might be thinking, oh, Mateo, I don't even know where to start. There's so many conflicting ideas out there with nutrition and training these days. And that's total bullshit. You need to stop telling yourself these stupid stories about your own incompetence when it comes to your fitness and health. You know what healthy eating looks like. You know what getting more active each day looks like. I have free stuff that'll help you get started. And it's an updated version of my free mini course that'll help you build more muscle, that'll help you get fitter and stronger, and get more out of every minute that you spend in the gym. You can grab Weight Room Roadmap using the link in the description below. And you have to realize that you're in the easiest ever time in history to get in shape. You have the answer to every question you've ever wondered at the tips of your fingers. Social media is not toxic, it's not brain dead, and it's not a waste of time. It's only that if you use it that way. If you follow creators, accounts, and businesses that produce shallow and useless content, or they're only trying to sell you their blood flow supplements, then it's no wonder you feel that way. Instead, you could try using social media to find novel perspectives and solutions to the problems that you're currently dealing with and maybe some unique mechanisms that you can experiment with that might work for you. It's a free public university where you build your own degree. Curate your feed, follow real people, turn information into action, and ask questions in the comments section so that you can learn from other people. A few years from now, you're gonna look back at all the things you learned and tried that shaped your new perspective and got you the results that you wanted. I still remember the article I read by Greg Knuckles. It was like the comprehensive guide on 
on how to bench press when I was first getting into powerlifting. And I remember the exact video that convinced me bulking was a good idea for muscle growth, even though this guy had only been training for like four or five years, but he was one step ahead of me. And that's really what matters most. Without those things, I definitely wouldn't have made it to where I am right now. It took me five plus years to squat 500 pounds, 11 and a half months to lose 50 pounds and over a thousand workouts to build the muscle that I wanted. You're not going to get fitness rich overnight and it definitely takes time, but don't make it take any longer than it needs to by giving up early or never getting started. Your body is going to adapt and so is your brain. It's not just about putting in the reps at the gym. Sometimes you have to learn a big, ugly, glary lesson about something that you've been doing wrong the whole time. I don't like how I learned you're never supposed to make eye contact with other men in the shower at the YMCA. But seriously, if you can't look back on your training and nutrition history and say, wow, that was such a dumb thing that I was doing, then you're probably doing the dumb thing right now. That's an idea I got from Dr. Eric Helms and it's just stuck with me ever since I heard it. You need to make a serious attempt at accomplishing whatever it is that you set out to do. And don't be afraid of failure in the process. That's how you get better. Even if you're not sure the workout plan is perfect for you or if the nutrition plan will work for you, just get in the arena. And most importantly, document your process. Only then will you know what works, what doesn't, and why. Then follow the high signal information that seems to be pulling you in the right direction and double down on it. But how do you know when it's time to keep trying and when it's time to shift gears? We'll cover that in next week's video when we talk about the rule of 100. By the way, I tried out the two camera angle studio setup. Let me know what you think about that. Links to all my free stuff in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so I can see you in the next one. Peace.